What's up, pineapples? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited because I got to play with some makeup. And today's video is going to be on Bretman Rock's new collection that launched with Wet n Wild. So we're going to just jump right into it. I'm going to show you everything from the entire collection. It is still up and in stock only on Wet n Wild. I went on Ulta and a lot of stuff is already sold out. And plus they don't have the entire collection on Ulta.com. So I just wanted to let you know. Ulta stores do carry the collection, but I'm just talking about online period just because it's easy just to order online anyhow, but Wet n Wild has everything. Plus they also have a bundle with everything, so I think it saves you some money. So we're gonna get right into the look. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl and let's get right into it. Whoop. All right, pineapples, let's get started. So I have the Bretman Rock eyeshadow palette. It comes with a little cover slip right here and we have the palette. So this is what it looks like. Very summery, very colorful. Love it. And then once you open it up, there is no mirror. Jungle Rock, this is the name of the palette. And then it has a protective slip. Super, super colorful, nice and vibrant. Even though I have this colorful shirt, let's just do it. I'm excited to play with these. Let's see the names. Coconut Connoisseur, Proud, Liar, and Cheetah. Don't be lion, but like lion, L-I-O-N. Cute, King of the Jungle, Ape Shit, Pounce on Them, Flaming Ho. <laughs> okay, so let's make a look. I also have the three brushes. So we have a shader brush, we have a blending brush, and then a larger highlighter brush. This is what the brush handle looks like, and it says Bretman Rock on the side. Feels really nice. I like like the gold into like the orangey dark coral kind of ombre. Let's see. So it doesn't come with like a full on transition shade, but that doesn't really bother me. Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go straight into this pink shade right here and it is called Flaming Ho. Ooh, like no fallout, so that's good. Let me zoom you guys in. Let's zoom in. Zoom in. I prepped my eye, I already set it, so we're gonna start with this shade right here. Ooh, brush feels super, super soft. And obviously that had some nice pigment. It's not coming across as dark as it is in the pan right off the bat, which I personally love. I love building up colors, but I do appreciate the fact that you can build it up. Sometimes when I put on a brighter shade and it's just boom, like so much, I don't really enjoy it as much because then I think, okay, wow, I'm gonna have to blend this out for a long time and I have to be very careful with this palette. I just feel like eyeshadows with this type of formula are more user friendly. And then look how fast that is already blending out. I love something that is super easy and effortless because who wants to really spend that much time on their eyeshadow all the time? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm one where I love doing my makeup, but some days I want colorful makeup and like cute looks, but I can't stand how long it takes to get ready because some palettes are just more difficult to work with or they just are more time consuming because you have to blend out so much but this brush so far is super, super soft, so I'm happy with the quality of this brush. Although this blended out really nicely, I'm just gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna buff out the edges. I'm just using a BH Cosmetic brush. So I have Feline Myself right here and it's a purple. Now I wanna go into this because I always find that purples are sometimes really hard to use because they can tend to be a little bit patchy or they kind of get like splotchy and weird pigmentation. So I'm gonna add this right into the crease right below the pink. This seems to be a really, really nice purple. I can tell right away, like whenever I start blending it into my crease, if it's gonna be kind of funky. Wow, this is already so much fun, you guys. I'm so happy to like just be playing with color and can't wait to wear like bright pinks and oranges during spring and summer. Plus, I'm just so excited for like spring and summer. I just wanna bring way more color into my life. I feel like I always say that, you guys, but this time I wanna bring even more because I'll, I'll wear color, but I feel like I'm not like this all the time, but I just wanna wear more bold looks. I mean, I do it, but I wanna do it more. I just realized I didn't go back into, <laughs> into the Wet n Wild brush. It's just that they feel honestly very, very similar that I thought I was using the same Wet n Wild brush, but sorry. But it's okay, it actually works out because I have the pink on this one and the purple on this one. This was the original brush I used just to blend out the pink, but worked out because I'm gonna bring the pink a little bit more to the top so I can make sure I just have like that gradient so it works out so I don't have to grab like another brush. And I'm probably gonna cut creases, baby. All right, well, we got that going on. I just used my NARS Creamy Matte Concealer. Per usual, that's what I usually use to cut my crease, and I use the shade Custard. Okay, so now for the lid shade. Hmm, let's do a swatch of this one. I just don't wanna put anything too dark. Okay, this already looks dark. Liar and Cheetah. Let's do a swatch. Always good to see pigmentation anyhow. Okay, yeah, that. 
I thought it was going to be a little bit more pink swatch of Prowl. And then a swatch of, what is this one called? King of the Jungle, this really beautiful gold. Ooh, look at that. Hopefully you guys can tell how pigmented that is. And then the, ooh, <gasps> ooh, oh my gosh. I don't know which one I should use. This one too, don't be a lion. Let's just swatch this too, just so we know. Oh, this is more like a, a light peach champagne, but more like, a satin shade where it's not popping as much. Prowl, <laughs> and we're gonna place that on the lid. And um, we're gonna work from it from there and we're gonna figure out what we want. So we're just gonna go ahead and pack this on. I mean, it is like your typical gold, but this one is really, really vibrant. Like more foiled, you don't have to wet the shadow, at least in person. And it is coming off now that I'm packing on the color a little bit more like true gold, which I don't mind, I think it looks beautiful. And what I do love is that there's no fallout. I'm just feeling this brush, it does feel really great to pack on color. Okay, so now that we have this, we have the shade Alpha. Now blacks can be very, very difficult to work with. They can get splotchy and all of that. I went ahead and cleaned my fingers off. We have a black shade, so now let's do a swatch right here. Okay, so so far that looks pretty good. Let's do another one, like a softer swatch, and go back and forth. Okay, it's looking smoky. Now what I'm thinking of possibly doing is mixing in the black, which is called Alpha, with the feline myself, with the purple, just so you can kind of make a deep plum. I'm actually gonna start off with the black, and I just wanna see what this is gonna be like. I'm using the Wet n Wild Blender this time. And let's just start bringing that to the outside of the eye. I feel like I haven't really worked with black like this in a while. And I just wanna see what this is gonna look like. I don't think I'm gonna keep it with the black. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Cause I mean, so far it actually looks really nice. Blended into that gold and pink and purple. Ooh. But I feel like I just want more color, not so black. Okay, so here we go. So we have this so far. It's actually really pretty. I will say come through, raccoon eye. I think it doesn't look bad, but I do wanna add some color to it, just a little because, I don't know, I'm not really into like the whole like black on the side right now. I mean, I think it looks good, but that's not like the vibe I'm going for. So let's add in feline myself, the purple. I'm just gonna dust this wet and wild brush again. I'm going ham with just this one brush. And we're just gonna add that to the outside just to bring a little bit more vibrancy. Place that right on top just so it's not so black. See, so it looks more like a dark plum. So he did come out with a mascara. I do plan on doing wing liner and then adding on some lashes just because this is a dramatic look so it needs it or else I'm gonna just look nakes. So I'm gonna try the mascara first though because it totally makes a difference when you have eyeliner and then you try on a mascara. I feel like that liner just completely masks the mascara. So let's try it on. Looks like it has like a lot of little teeth, which I like. This one's called Bad Bitch Lift. Love it. I love the packaging too. It also matches the handles of the brushes. But I can tell if I'm gonna like a mascara or not. My favorite drugstore so far is still the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But this one seems to ooh, really separate. Okay, so here's the mascara on. I went ahead and also curled my lashes. I am one where I just curl my lashes after I do mascara. I know a lot of people are against that, yada, yada, yada. That's just what I personally do. So I actually really like this mascara. I don't know if you guys can see it through all of the shadow and all the blending, but it actually did a very, very good job. As you can see, I went ahead and did some liner. Uh, I just did like a regular line. I didn't do like a wing. I just literally did a basic. I feel like I haven't done that in forever. And then I just went ahead and did some Ardell wispy lashes. I didn't want anything too big because I feel like whenever I do use like a large lash, it's just like a uh, goodbye eyeshadow. You see like the difference if I use like a huge one, obviously that's a stacked one, but the Demi's not like a huge, like a wispy isn't a huge lash. I feel like it just like takes away everything. So I like using more of like a wispy lash so you can see everything else. And then obviously just foundation, concealer, the powder I used was Maybelline Superstay, bronzer was the Butter Bronzer, one of my favorites, and just bronze right here. 
And I think that's about it. Oh, and then a blush, I went ahead and used ColourPop Cream Blush Underclassmen Highlighter, which I'm super excited of. And I also have the highlighter brush. I really like these containers because they help protect the brush. So like say in stores that they had like the little plastic slip, I feel like people would maybe touch it, go underneath it. This you can't really like pop open in store. So I really like the packaging even though it is bulky. And this seems really nice, just like a regular duster highlighter. A loose highlighter is honestly not my fave. So it comes like this and there's two different highlights. I haven't opened them up. So there's a B and R for Bretman Rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take away the protective film and then I'll do some swatches. So I just like to open it just a little so just a little disperses out and not a lot. So I did some swatches, so here you go. I don't know if you guys can see that but it's more like a pinky, a pinky glitter. I don't know if you guys can even tell, yeah. So it's a pinky glitter and then we have this champagne shade right here. Now the pinky one honestly feels a little more on like the glitter side. The only thing with like the duo, if you wanna put some in the cap, both the colors are gonna kind of mix. Pink first, so just kidding. It's like a pinky gold. So let's swatch this baby. See how it's more gritty? I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it looks like it's going on into like a pinky opalescent. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend it into the cheeks a little bit more so it doesn't look so gritty. Oh, okay, well it actually blended. That actually surprised me, so I'm glad I tried that out because when it comes out, it honestly looks like micro glitter. Okay, that looks way better than what I thought because I honestly was already like, ah. I'm just gonna dust this one off and I'm gonna go into the champagne shade. Okay. Ooh, that one. That's popping. I'm gonna actually add that on top of the pink just to see what it looks like. So what it's doing is basically intensifying like the pink pigments. It almost makes it look like a light pink. Bring some down the nose. I did like a little combination of both shades. But I definitely still see like that micro glitter with the pink, but I think once you blend it, it'll be better. Okay, so I'm gonna take a different brush this time just because I annihilated that blending brush, to be very honest, and the shader brush, it'll just be a little bit too dense for underneath. This is the Sigma Blending E36 pink shade, and I'm just gonna blend that at the bottom of the eyes, back into feline myself, and just add a little bit right to the lash line just to help define it a little bit more. Next, I'm just gonna take the mascara and I'm gonna hit it on the bottom lashes. Now that we have that going on, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that pink shimmer from the highlight duo and I'm gonna place it, ooh. I'm like, ooh. Right here, right in the corner, just to add just a little bit of something right in this blank spot. But it just adds just like a little bit of pop. Three different lip glosses. I have not tried them out yet. It just says Jungle Rock and these are the three shades right here. I'm pretty sure these are more like lip toppers. I don't know how pigmented these really are going to be, but I'm gonna try out this one first because it looks like you might be able to use this on its own. Fearless. So it comes with a Dofa applicator. Mmm. That tastes really good, it's super moisturizing. I will say I thought I was gonna get a little bit more pigment than this. Okay, so I just read the card and there is passion fruit, so that's totally what I taste. Go ahead and just do some swatches because I don't think they're really gonna show up on the lips like substantially. Oh, the light gold is actually really pretty. I think I can actually put it on top of this one. Oh yeah, you can see the shimmer. Pink one you can barely see. It's more like a light purple or a light opal. It's very, very faint. I'm just gonna say that. It looks more vibrant in the tube. I mean, it's not bad, but if you're thinking you're gonna really see like that color or dimension, probably not. For me, the winner's probably gonna have to be this one and it's in the shade Ferocity. So, cause I really see like the glitters. I think this is gonna be really pretty over a nude lip. Put on this nude lip. It's called All Natural Nude. I believe this one, oh, Physician's Formula. It's a liquid lip. It feels more like a lip conditioner right here. And I'm gonna place it on top just because I don't wanna like disrupt the doe foot in case some of it transfers. Ooh. It actually brings like a highlight to the lips. It looks really, really pretty. Now that one I think is totally worth it. Do me in the jungle. It says prep set and refresh. Oh, I could have prepped my face with this. I thought it was just a setter. This is what the bottle looks like and you can see a lot of champagne glow in that. I smell coconut. Let's let that kind of set. Overall, it does give a glow to the face and I honestly really love it. 
I don't know if you can tell that I feel like my highlight looks even more intense now that I sprayed that. But you guys see that like illumination all around the face. It's not like too intense. It's actually done really well, but this actually looks really, really pretty. Here's the final look, you guys. What do you think? I absolutely loved this collection. Let me just say that. I love how there wasn't like a lot of fallout. I love the like bright colors. I plan on using this for spring and summer for sure. For the lip glosses, I will say my favorite is definitely Ferocity. And then for the brushes, they were amazing. If you guys can get your hands on this blending brush, Look, I annihilated it and I used it for a lot of this look and it was so good. So it was the shader brush and so was the highlight brush. I loved all three. Now, I will say for the dual highlighter, cool to have two in one, but I think just kind of mixing, you're gonna kind of mix a lot in the cap and it's kind of hard. I feel like if you're gonna get one color, you're probably gonna have to put it on the back of your hand. Overall, it is a really beautiful highlight. And then for the spray, I thought this was great. Like it really umped up everything else. I feel like it just, woo, like made me super glowy like woo woo this bad bitch lift really pleasantly surprised me i thought it was great for the bottom lashes and it really helped with having that curve and once i curled my lashes i thought it lengthened them it separated them and i actually really liked it which is surprising because i'm very picky with mascaras all right final bowls, well that's gonna be it i hope you enjoyed leave some love down below i'm so happy just to play with makeup right now and look out for future videos because i have a ton a ton of ton of ton of affordable makeup i'm gonna be trying on for my channel get ready for some looks all right guys love you fine apple so much and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Mwah. here we go it's all about you it's all about me it's all about what we do making art you and me trying to find something to believe